Hello everyone in this video let us write a script to delete users using script enough for Jira. So today I wanted to share this a small piece of code which you can use to delete a user from your Jira instance. Of course you can do it from the UI but uh, if you want to do it uh, programmatically using uh, a script then uh, you can definitely do it uh, using script runner. So let us not waste any time and let us quickly take a look at uh, this script and how we can uh, uh, use it for uh, basically removing a user and also to make sure that uh, you can actually delete a user first because uh, you can't just straight away delete a user in Jira. You need to make sure that uh, <clears throat> the user right now is uh, not associated with any issue like a user can't be the assignee or a reporter. You need to basically move that particular user and ideally you should not be deleting a user. You should only be deactivating them because uh, if you delete a user then uh, you will probably lose the uh, traceability and it, and it will be a bit difficult for you to manage uh, the issues and to take a look at the historical information. But just in case you want to do it, you can do it uh, using a script runner. Also, you can do it from the UI, but let us write a script. So in this particular uh, uh, script, if you take a look here, we are basically using a component accessor and uh, user service. So after you declare uh, this uh, user service uh, variable, which is of course using component accessor and uh, you also need to uh, you also need to make sure you declare one uh, variable to store your current uh, login. Then you can start uh, writing a script to delete a user. And before you can delete a user, you need to make sure that you validate whether you can actually delete a user or not. So for validating, you need to use uh, a script like this where you can uh, uh, use uh, user service dot delete user validation result and you can then uh, use this result uh, to, to actually hold this uh, output whether this uh, validation is successful or not and then you can uh, pass in your actual user name so right now i'm using this uh, hard coded string which is my user id or user name in uh, jira now what you can do here is you can uh, first run this and you can check whether uh, the output of uh, this uh, piece of code or basically the result is successful or not. So if you click on the run button, you will get something like this, which is not really very readable. So what you can do, you can then uh, use one uh, method called as uh, is valid. So using this uh, method, you can actually check whether the output or the result is uh, successful or not. So if you run this, the output of this uh, validation is false. That means that you can't really delete a user. But if you want to know further what exactly is the problem, why can't you delete this user? So you can also display some uh, further information. So there is uh, this collection called as error collection uh, that is also a method of uh, this result so you can uh, run this and you can uh, get more details so right now when you run this you can see here that uh, we have this error that says uh, this user currently has one issue assigned to this person now you can also validate this if you go to the issue navigator so you can uh, write us Write, write a simple JQL to find out uh, if we have any issues assigned to Michelle.Williams. So if you run this, so we exactly have uh, one issue assigned to this user. Now, before you can actually successfully do it, like deletion of user, you can actually unassign this issue from this user, uh, from this uh, user, from the UI, or you can uh, let, use the bulk change utility in Jira. But if you go back to the console and if you try to actually delete this user, you can then uh, write a piece of code which is uh, 
uh, we need to use the user service actually. So if you type in user service dot, uh, and by the way, if you're not sure the exact method, you can use the new code editor where you can uh, get some help with the possible methods. So we do have one uh, method here called remove user. And for this method, we need to pass in the application user, which is current user. And then you need to pass in your uh, user service dot delete user validation result, which is uh, right now stored in the result. So let us do it. So if you type in current user, and if you use the method, or not the method, but uh, the result here, and if you run this, you will probably get an error because uh, uh, we are not able to delete this user because we do need to make sure that there is no issue assigned to Michelle Williams. So before I can actually run this piece of code, I can uh, I can first check the uh, the valid uh, the result validation, uh, which is right now false. Now if I go back to the issue navigator and if I probably assign this ticket to, there's not ticket, but an issue to maybe myself. So then we'll uh, try to delete, delete the user again. And by the way, the code that I'm writing is uh, just to demonstrate how it works, but uh, you need to idly use some checks and uh, make sure that uh, there is no error thrown just make sure that you do some error handling and you display the right type of result. Now you can uh, also check now whether we can uh, delete this user. First we can take a look at the validation result. So if you run this piece of code, uh, right now the result is true. And uh, you can also check the error collection. I don't think there is any error right now, but you can check it. So yeah, there is no error. So you can comment this again, and finally you can uh, actually delete this user. So now, hopefully if we go back to the, or maybe we can uh, just check whether this user exists or not. So the validation should be false because there is no such user. And you can also check the error collection, which is, uh, which will definitely show you that this user does not exist in your Jira instance. And you can, uh, you can also go back to your user management section. You can see here that there is one user called Michelle Williams. And if you refresh it, I need to log in first. You can see here that uh, there is no such user anymore. So this is uh, a very nice uh, way to delete uh, a user. And uh, I also want to uh, give you one reference of uh, one uh, community page where you can have you can find a better code. So this piece of code that I showed you right now is not really proper. It was mostly to demonstrate or to show you the capabilities or to use the right method uh, for deleting the user, but uh, you should do some error handling. So let me show you one piece of code. I think uh, that piece of code is really good. And uh, no, this is not the page. Even this is not the page. Script or delete user. I'm just doing a Google search very quickly. So yes, uh, this is the page. I'll probably share this link. So if you look at this piece of code uh, by Thanos, Thanos is actually my colleague. I know him, he's a great programmer. Uh, so you can see here that uh, in this piece of code, uh, there is a proper error handling. And uh, if you if you use this piece of code, of course, you can also use uh, this uh, list uh, of users. And uh, you can also pass it to this uh, loop to delete users in bulk. And of course, uh, in this piece of code, there is a method handling. There is also uh, some messages that will be displayed to the user with the right message, whether this user can be deleted or not. And if there is an error, what exactly is the error? So I recommend you take a look at this piece of code, but uh, I just wanted to show you how it can be done. Uh, 
and uh, what method you need to use to actually delete a user. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. Thank you very much.